Hi, my name is Nick McPhee, and in this video, I'll walk through the basics of installing Jess, the Jython environment for students, on a Windows 10 system. I have a similar video for installing Jess on a Mac. See the links in the description below. I'll be following along with the write-up shown on the left. A link to that is available in the description below. There's more detail there and some helpful links, so feel free to have a look at that. Before installing Jess, we need to figure out if you need to install a Java Runtime Environment, or JRE. Jess needs a JRE to be able to function. Some systems come with Java installed, or you or someone else may have installed a JRE previously for other reasons. If you don't have one, though, we'll need to install one. There are a couple of ways of checking whether you have a JRE already installed. First, let's type Java in the search box and see what comes up. If there are apps like About Java and Configure Java, then you probably have a JRE. If instead you get a bunch of web search information about Java, like we did here, then you probably don't have a JRE installed. Alternatively, you can use the Command Prompt tool. Type Command Prompt in the search box and you should get the Command Prompt tool. Open it and you should get a window where you can type commands. Type in Java space minus version, all of that's lowercase, and hit enter. If you get a message back with a version number and some other gobbledygook, then you almost certainly have a JRE installed. If you instead get a message saying Java is not recognized, as happened here, then you'll need to install a JRE. Let's assume for the moment that you do need to install a JRE. If you already had one, Skip ahead to the part where we actually install Jess. The timecode for that will be included in the description below. To install a JRE, go to java.com and click the big red Java Download button. On the next page, click the Agree and Start Free Download button. Save the file and wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, double-click it to run it. Click Yes on the dialog asking if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device. Click through the steps on the installer. For me, the installer comes up behind other windows, so I had to click around some to find it. After the install is finished, you can start a new command prompt window and confirm that Java has been installed. Don't use the previous command prompt window. That one won't know we've installed something new. So you have to make a new one and check there. Huzzah! That worked! Now we'll move on to installing Jess. In your web browser, search for Jython Environment for Students Releases. The page you're looking for will likely be the top hit. Alternatively, you can click the link in the associated write-up. After making sure you're on the page shown here, scroll down to the list of releases. There are three possible downloads for Windows, which is a little confusing. We'll download the .exe entry. After you finish downloading the installer, double-click it to start the installation. Windows may attempt to protect your PC by preventing you from installing this. Here, though, we'll trust the authors of the course textbooks and developers of Jess. So click the More Info link and then the Run Anyway button. Windows will ask if you want this to be able to make changes to your device. Say yes. Now we finally get to the Jess installer. Click through the instructions agreeing to the license. I would just take the defaults unless you have some reason not to. Once the installation is complete, you can click Finish. If you leave the Run Jess Now box checked, then Jess should start up and you can take a look. If Jess started successfully, then you're done and you can quit. If you actually want to see it in action, however, the write-up has instructions, so you can run a small example that shows the kinds of things we'll learn to do with Jess over the course of the semester. I hope that helps. 
Enjoy learning to program with Jess. Thanks a lot. Bye.